Okay, that was a little bit of the taste uh, from my previous video. If you haven't seen it, uh, I suggest that you see it as an AC for your boat, um, about $200 for the AC and then the generator. But when I was done, this is the mess that I had as far as the cable that feeds the cabin uh, to get the electricity into the AC. I, I was not happy. And so this video is kind of a follow up because I cleaned that up. I installed a NOCO shore power plug uh, to the boat. Uh, that way there are no cables hanging around. There is no a mass cable to step on and so forth i wasn't happy with uh the result of this cable being where it was at so i had to start from you know the beginning as far as getting the electricity into the cabin so i needed to remove the this uh, rod holder uh gun whale on the port side and this is what the video is about so you know stick around we're going to remove this uh, gun whale we're going to uh, put the Norco somewhere in the area here. We we, uh, we had not decided when we were uh, filming this part of the project, uh, but we definitely, uh, you'll see the result. It's shore power. So you can have a little shore power in a small boat. Now I don't have to have that cable hanging around. I can connect the generator directly to a shore power plug that i purchased in amazon so um thank you for joining florida for function i think that you're going to enjoy this video i think it is a good video and i invite you to watch all the other videos that i have on my channel and if you so uh desire um you can uh, subscribe it's completely free and always put on your notification bell the thumbs up all those good things uh, so let's go ahead and get started and remove this gun well. my no call behind this and into the uh, and open up some hole here I'm gonna force it and I'll get it right. I just got the package from Amazon this is the um, no call uh, let me see if you can see right there no call the AC port plug 12 with a 12 foot extension. Right, open that up real quickly. And this is it right here. Okay, I'm not sponsored by these people, by the way. I just want to show what I got. So I'm going to open it up and we'll be installing. I also got an extension which is the one I'm going to be using for the uh, from the generator it's three feet from the generator to the actual connection to the shore power on the uh, on the boat so this is the extension that I'll be using it's a white extension and uh, that should um, make things much neater in the uh, in, in the boat got three feet take this off this off that's three feet this will go on the uh, norco and then this will go on the uh, generator generator feed the norco and then the that electricity will go into the um to the boat so let's go out there and let's get this installed okay so no more mess here this is 
the product right here. Everything is buttoned up. Now here is the actual connection. Okay, so this is the knuckle. This where you plug in the cable. Nothing is left outside. Everything is behind the um, the rod holder into that wall. Now let me show you where it comes out from. This is interesting. Okay, so this is the cabin where I have the air. So this is the air conditioner. So this this cable, I'm gonna probably want to do something about it. It goes in here. This is where I connected. I have four other plugs, plus I have three uh, USB ports. I'm probably gonna do something about this cable. I don't like it hanging in there, to be honest. So, now if you look in here, we look in here, it's a nice clean connection. The uh, cable, it's coming from uh, the no co plug outside and it's sending the power through the cable right to this and then whatever I plug in here, even USB ports. I put it here because maybe I'll get something uh, something to cook here, electrical, and that'll work. Now the generator will be connected here, and the generator will be here. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the uh, the air inside. We're gonna turn this baby on. Let it warm up. And let's check for power inside the cabin. And we have power. So, job completed, we have lights inside the cabin, put more light here if we need to, and um, we have power. Let's go ahead and get this air conditioner running, and get some nice cold air inside this cabin. clean uh, connection and like I said before I like to change this cable here I just put it out of the way that'll be something that um, I'll do on the next project I don't know if I'll film it but, but it's just running a cable a little bit cleaner here so the air is running the cabin is lit up and um, this is kind of the the sofa, <laughs> I mean, you have, a, we have, we can put it as a dining, uh, we can also put it like this, like a sofa style, or uh, you can also put it as a sleeping quarter. This is the uh, full berth setup to sleep, comfortable, with your air running. With generator power in a nice neat setup here. So we take the uh, generator off and then we can use shore power. Same um, concept, you connect your cable to the NOCO and then all you're gonna do is find 
an electrical outlet either in a marina or even in your own home you take your cable and you connect it to shore power if it's in a marina it's in a marina if it's in your house you connect it and now you have power in your boat without any cables hanging around where you can step on so anyway this is Florida for sunshine and we thank you for you know sharing this moment with us we thank you for your subscription we thank you for the likes and if you're not subscribed uh, you know there's 50 something videos on my channel that you can go ahead and check out and if you like the channel and you want to support us you can go ahead and subscribe is absolutely free Florida for sunshine. Thank you guys and we are out.